So what we have here is a three millimeter tap. We're going to use that to cut the threads in our two liter coupler here. You can see there are tiny little holes that can receive a bolt. So first you want to take your drill and very gently chuck the tap into the keyway. So you want to make sure that you're holding on to the tap firmly, but not so firmly that the chuck key, uh, teeth won't slip. We do want, if it's going to fail, we want our tap to stop rotating. We don't want it to snap under pressure. So what we're going to do is find our hole and then line up our drill bit and apply forward pressure. And at that point, we should be through our part. You can see that the tap has bottomed out, so we have cut our threads. We're going to reverse the drill. And then make sure that the threading is in fact cut to hold on to our part. So now we know our threading is seated. And it should just go all the way through, all the way to the end. Now if you're using a taper tap and you're having trouble getting to the bottom, they make one called a bottom tap or a blind tap. And the idea is that as the bolt goes through, it's going to allow compression of the two liter bottle ring. So at this point, it's firm enough to where we need a wrench. You want to make sure that your bolt <clears throat> gets to the bottom depth of the part. So let's get that in focus. Try that again. There we go. So you can see that we have a little excess bolt. And now, as we tighten the threading, you can see the PLA deflecting on the interior ring, which tells you you can easily com apply compression to the 2-liter bottle without any concern about do you have enough bolt length.